Hello again. Welcome. This is Teacher Romel and welcome to another episode of my video. It is about the visibility rule for 4, 8, 11, and 12 and special shout out to Mr. Raimundo Austero for the request of this video. Okay, just sit tight and relax and we're going to learn about the different rules of this number. Okay, now, how do we know if a number is divisible by 4? So, let us discuss this. Okay? Okay, now let us try to look at these numbers. Do you think these numbers are all divisible by 4? Yes or no? Okay, so the answer is yes. These are all divisible by 4. And why do you think? Now, let us try to look at these numbers. 300... 12,300 and 325,000. Now, these numbers are all ends with, with two zeros. So, meaning, if they end with two zeros, they are divisible by 4. Okay? So, 300 is divisible by 4. 12,300 is divisible by 4. And 325,000 is divisible by 4. Now, how about this? 3,012, 1,248, and 3,096. What makes them divisible by 4? Okay, why? Because they end with 12, 48, and 96. And what's so special about them? So, these numbers, 12, 48, and 96, are all divisible by 4. So, meaning... If a number ends or if the last two digit of a number is divisible by 4 such as 12, 48, 96 and so forth, they are divisible by 4. Okay. Okay, so again, how do we know if a number is divisible by 4? So a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digit, ito, so the last two digits is divisible by 4 and if a number ends with two zeros okay okay so let's have a short exercises let's try to answer this just tell me if it is divisible by 4 or not by saying yes or no okay now let's start about this is this divisible by 4 Okay, yes. Why? Because it ends with two zeros. How about this? Is this divisible by 4? Yes or no? Okay, the answer is yes. And why? Because it ends with 36. And 36 is divisible by 4, right? Okay, so this is yes. Okay, last one. Four thousand six hundred thirty. Yes or no? Okay, no. Why? Because it only ends with one zero, and thirty is not divisible by four. So. Okay, next is, how do we know if a number is divisible by 8? Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's try to look at these numbers. Do you think these numbers are divisible by 8? Okay, the answer is yes. Why is that? Okay, let's try to analyze these numbers. So, here, 3,432. Now, this is divisible by 8. Why? Because if you are going to divide this 3 digit, 432, these are all divisible by 8. Okay? So, if you are going to divide 3,432, you will get an exact answer. Okay? Next, proceed 300, 1,084. So, the same. The last 3 digit of this is divisible by 8 and then 323,092 still 
192 is divisible by 8. And the rest, we have noticed we have three zeros. Three zeros. Now, it, a number is divisible by 8 if it ends with three zeros. And all these numbers ends with three zeros. Okay? So, writing the rule. So, the rule will be... And the rule, the number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits is divisible by 8. And if a number ends with three zeros. Okay? Okay, so let's have short exercises. So just say yes if it is divisible by 8 and no if it is not. So let's see. About this, 45,000. Okay. The answer is yes. Why? Because it ends with three zeros. So it is divisible by eight. Is this divisible by eight? Okay. Trying to look at the last three digit. Is this divisible by eight? Yes, 208 is divisible by 8. So, meaning 56,208 is divisible by 8. Okay, easy, right? Okay, so now next is how do we know if a number is divisible by 11? Okay, let's discuss this. Okay, so... Do you think these numbers here are all divisible by 11? Okay, and the answer is yes, they are all divisible by 11. And the question is why? How, how are they divisible by 11? Okay, so according to the rule is if you're going to add the numbers in add positions, such as 4, this one, 4 plus 2. 5 will give you 5 it will give you 11 right and then you have to subtract that to the numbers in the the add position I mean even position this one 0 plus 0 and that will give you 0 so 11 minus 0, then subtract them. 11 minus 0 is equals to 11. So according to the rule, if the difference is 11 or the difference is divisible by 11, therefore this number is divisible by 11. Okay, to make it more clearer, let's try the next example. 501,248, so this is divisible by 11. So how? Why is that? Okay, then first we're going to add the numbers in the add position. 8 plus 2 is equals to 10 plus 0 is equals to 10. Then subtract minus the numbers in the even position, which is the 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 5 is equals to then also, then subtract 10 minus 10 is equals to 0. Now, if you get 0 as the difference, that means the whole number is divisible by 11. Okay, so let's say the next one. 122,639. So, let's add first the numbers in the add position. 9 plus 6 is 15. Plus 2 is 17. Okay. And then the next one. We have the number in the position. 3 plus 2 is 5. Plus 1. That will give you. 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 is 6. 
17 minus 6 is 11. Okay, that means 11, of course, is divisible by 11. So, therefore, the whole number is divisible by 11. Okay, let's go to the next one. We have 8 plus 9 is 17 plus 9 is 26, right? Okay. Minus plus 1, 2, plus 2 is 4. Okay. So, 26 minus 4 is 22. Is 22 divisible by 11? Yes, 22 is divisible by 11. So, therefore, this number is divisible by 11. Okay? So, what will be our rule? Okay, so the rule is, the number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits in odd places and the sum of the digits in even places is either 0 or number divisible by 11. Okay? Okay, now according to the rule, a number is divisible by 12 if a number is divisible by both 3 and 4. Okay? So, let's have some exercises. Okay, so let's have some exercises. So, 3. 35,100. Is this divisible by 12? Yes or no? And the answer is? Okay, yes. So, paano nyo chinek? So, first we have to try if this is divisible by 3. So, by adding the digits. So, this is 1 plus 5, 6 plus 3. The total is 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3. And then, so, therefore, this is divisible by 3. And it ends with 2 zeros. So, therefore, it is also divisible by 4. So, this is divisible by 12. Yes. Okay. Let's have another one. Three hundred twenty-five thousand two hundred sixteen. Okay. So first, check natin if this is available, uh, divisible by three by adding all the digits. Okay. Six plus one is seven. Plus two is nine. Plus five is fourteen. Plus two is sixteen. Plus three is nineteen. Is this divisible by 3? Okay, so no. Again, let's count. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 5 is 14, plus 2 is 16, plus 3 is, so that is a total of 19, and 19 is not divisible by 3. So therefore, this is not divisible by number. Is this divisible by 12? Okay, again, let's try to see if this is first divisible by 3. So, let's add 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 2 10 plus 5 total of 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Okay, yes, that is divisible by 3. So, how about the last two digits? Is this divisible by 4? Okay, yes, that is divisible by 4. Let's check. So, therefore, the number is divisible by 
12 and the answer is yes okay so is that clear any questions okay simply right so if you like to view my videos just don't forget to click subscribe thanks for watching